and welcome to this midweek shave. Today's Tuesday, a different time of our shaving routine. Just setting the hair straight. Um, simply because my schedule for Wednesday has been kind of changed up and it's earlier meeting spots and uh, also an evening meeting, uh, not afternoon meeting and also evening uh, work on some volunteer stuff. So what are we using? We're using this soap sample that I have got from buying the Parker uh, Silver Edge Sterling Deep uh, Blue Sea, which is a take on Chanel's Blue. Um, what are we using ball wise? We're using a Yaki ball, a collapsible ball, it says here DLC Yaki. And it uh, pops on like this. There you go. And you can put in the soap here, and there's some rings there, which is kind of, you know, um, metalized. There's some metal in there beside the, the silicone. Also, a ring band here, metal, and one here as well. But this out here is completely flexible. So, we're going to put it in there. Um, this razor is made in the Eng England, I think it's called not UK, made in, it's a British made, so it's, um, that's what it is. Uh, this is a clone of a knack, which was uh, in the US, uh, not the slim twitch, but sort of a brother to it. Um, slightly more aggressive, and last time I used it, it gave me a big cut right here, so better be careful with it. Uh, blade, we're going to be putting in a Bailey blade called Super Stainless Steel Blade, nothing more than that. Looks like this. And it came with one of the Bailey razors, so we're going to test this out today. Uh, kind of a hit and mix, uh, mix up different things. Aftershave is going to be Mule Grapefruit Mint and Balm, a Leah Balm also with menthol, both of them. Brush is going to be this yucky 24 millimeter lovely synthetic one. And uh, let's just get going. Oh, yeah, appreciate it. It's going to be this new one, Mat Matro Michi pre shaving soap, a solid bar, scented uh, very delicately with orchids. And uh, that's something that I'm slightly reaction, allergic to, so I might get a sort of a sneezing thing going. Let's put the soap here in there. And all, we're just going to use all of it. Scent strength is about a four, lovely scent. Don't have anything real to match it. Uh, so it's right here, and we're going to put in something. There you go. Um, just press it in. There you go. It's more than enough for, for us today. Thank you, Lasse, for giving me the samples to try out. All right. After this, I'm going to prepare lunch. For my kids, when they go to school, I always prepare that sort of in meal boxes for them, so we don't use. We have a little extra time in the morning. I have to get up quite early, so there's not much time really, regardless. So, very sort of aquatic somehow, um, but it is described by Sterling, if I remember correctly, as a floral citrusy scent, but that's not what I pick up really. I am picking up something um, aquatic. Beautiful scent, really. And this ball does a nice job. Already looking like this. All right, that's it. And this ball is wonderful for travel, by the way. If you didn't know, we're just going to wet the face here and apply pre shave.
Watch. Let's see, it looks like it. Now, this comes, I did unwrap it, but it comes wrapped in plastic once it's inside this. But this is how it looks. How many grams is it? Does it say in the box? Excuse me, 100 grams, so that should be fairly. A lot of them out. Look at it, beautiful. Put that under the water, and then let's go rub it on the skin. More water. Regardless, you always get a beautiful shave quality of, of sterling soaps. There you go. Okay. Wipe up the excess here and then just wet it and rub it in and we'll rinse it afterwards. Yeah. Floral scent, obviously of orchids. Um, currently, no no irritation on the skin. I'm guessing you could lather on top of this, but it is slightly dissipating. You know, once it sits there, doesn't seem like it now. But once it's been allowed to breathe there for a few minutes, it will dissipate. Right. Oh yeah. Word of a voice. Don't get it in your mouth. Oh. Right. We'll rinse. Right. <sighs> Lovely slickness. And um, here you go. All right. Let's see this beautiful Sterling Deep Blue Sea in action. Lovely scent. Chanel Blue or Marsh. Very fancy scent this. Now I haven't smelled the or I actually think I have but it's been years. I think I smelled it as a teenager really that's been let's just be obvious that's a few years since that. Right. Actually still getting some Scent remnants of the pre shave on my, on my skin. Alright. Uh, Laid, let's unwrap it, see how that goes. There you go. Wrap twice. For anyone. I wouldn't believe that's important or interested. Completely unbranded this. Right, let's pass it there. A bit opens. Just by an advantage way to twist this. It opens the doors. Pop in the blade. Like so. And close. Yeah. Overhang. Oh yes. You have that, and that will cut you. So slightly more aggressive, not a lot, slightly more aggressive than age and that slim twist. Let's go. Nice midweek shape this.
nice slickness nice additional slickness added by the pre-shave as well so it's a good pre-shave no irritation as it seems right now and yes it's the first time using the pre-shave just if anyone was wondering And if anyone was wondering as well, I got a cot right up here while using this the last time, this razor here. Similar to when I was going against the grain this way, it caught, the blade sort of caught some of the, the goatee uh, beard and it kind of sliced like this movement. So this. I would class as a oh, high end mild, really, racer. To low end mid. Lovely slickness. What's the first one? Let's go. Okay. Good. Alright. Since swing when it is valid, I would say it's about a four as well. Nice lather, as you would expect from sterling. There's also, I can see, soap left in the bowl. So actually haven't lathered the entire sample but this is a gorgeous set if you know Chanel Blue I'm certain you would love this if you love aquatic scents then this is for you as well lovely slickness lovely scent this is a great shave So how are you doing? I hope you're well. Anything new projects in the workings? Lovely scent this. Complex depths to it. Really glad I got to try this. Blade seems to be sharp, smooth, enjoyable. Now I always nick myself dust in places with using a sort of a mildish razor. It's time to pick up something else here. Right. 
I'm water. So, see. Mmm. Really gorgeous scent this. I know I'm not paid to say that in any way, if any one is wondering out there. If I like the scent, I'll you know, say it. If not, I'll also say it. Just you know the scent of this. It's not really my cup of tea, uh, to be honest with you, uh, scent wise, but performance wise, it's actually doing, it did a quite nice job. It softened up my beard. It left a nice amount of residual kind of slickness. So, there's not really much to be disappointed at, really. So it's a good pre-shave, so scent-wise I don't really like it, but I can't handle my idea, you know, because I don't, <laughs> honestly I don't really like the scent of orchids, um, but I was like, I want to give it a try, perhaps it's not that strong scented. Um, almost nothing left, oh. that's actually quite surprising. This is so much a day and night scent. But also a scent like we're going to the club. Works either way. Might also work as an everyday scent as, as well, you know. Sometimes you can pinch your aftershaves for that. Now, no one knows how old this razor is. I've never been able to find any information on it, when it was made or not. Um, how many were made, nothing like that. Uh, I'm already seeing Nick's here. So. Good. Oh, awesome. There you go. All right. Now for the past, that's rendered me with a wound for a long time. We do. Safe and sound for now. I'll do a face wash and I'll see you at the book shave. So that was nice. Let's have a look. It's very late, almost nine o'clock in the evening. I have to get this cleaned up and um, have to go downstairs to prepare lunch boxes for the kids for tomorrow. Mule, grapefruit and mint. Lovely sort of arts on the can here, the bottle. Uh, nice restrictor there. Nice solid scent. Put this on. There's also some witch hazel in this, so it's kind of like. Ooh! Burn.
Nice. Actually, a good combo. Even though they have nothing in common, really. Alright. Before we put on the bowl, we're just going to go through what we used and how it worked. <clears throat> Excuse me. Pre shave was Matro Michi. There you go. Pre shaving soap bar. Uh, worked well. Has a scent of orchids. Not my favourite scent. Um, kind of in the uh, in the mid area, scent strength wise. Um, I didn't quite like the scent. It's a bottle. This didn't quite like the scent really, to be honest. Um, but I don't really like orchids. Um, but as a pre-shave, it actually worked very well. Rub it on your skin, then turn in some water and, and, and lather it up, and rinse it, left extremely slick. So it works nicely. I just, the scent is not really working for me. If it was scentless, no problem. So I'm not quite sure if that's going to be something that's going to be reused on the channel. Razor, what's the... I don't honestly know what to call it. It's a, a knack clone, really. And we have a Bailey blade in it that was completely unbranded. Slightly more aggressive than your Gillette Slim Twist. Vintage racer, British made, that's all it says. No additional info whatsoever. The brush was the Yaki Cosmetics. No. <laughs> the Yaki brushes. Um, beautiful artwork on this 24mm. I'm not sure that you could get this brush any longer. Um, perhaps on Amazon if you were to find it. Ball was the Yaki collapsible ball DLC. Worked great. Late to allow in no time. This can be contorted together, fits in any kind of dot kits and can be brought on your travels whenever. The soap was called and that's what's left by the way. This Sterling Deep Blue Sea. It's a Chanel blue clone, and it was gorgeous, kind of aquatic, kind of citrusy, very beautiful scent, um, very complex scent. So that is very recommendable. And what we're going to be doing to top everything off and complete, we're going to be using Leah aftershave balm. Now this also contains alcohol, just so be aware, and also contains menthol and a very nice Leah scent. So what we're going to do is going to put some on here. There you go. Rub it in and then on the face. Great scent. That was it. I hope to see you in the weekend shave. I have a good one coming up for you there. Hopefully I get the products in to do it by the week's end. Well, if not, we'll just figure something else out. That was it. Thank you for watching. And, uh, you know, take a look around if you like the video. Might be something else for you in here as well. Stay happy. Stay healthy. And uh, remember to tell your loved ones that you love them. That's all for me. This is Hans from HG Shaves signing off. Bye-bye. <laughs>